and we back now today's video we're tackling part four of this series i'll put a link in the description to the entire playlist if you're new around here but i'll try to keep you up to speed we reset the nba to 2002-2003 the year that lebron james Dwayne wade carmelo anthony came into the league and i wanted to see how the entire nba was shaped out from then and I think right now we're in 2013 or 2014. Let me see what draft class is in here. The Wiggins draft class. So we're here in actually 2014 now. So over the last three videos, we went from 2003 to 2014. But here we are. I'm going to quickly go over the roster so y'all know who's on what team, okay? And if you've been here for a while and you've seen all three videos, well, welcome back, man. Welcome back. I appreciate you. So... There was a 76er team that had Allen Iverson and Stephen Curry. They drafted Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry ended up going and, like, I don't know if he, did he win MVP? Regardless, he was like a first-team All-NBA player. Of course, as he is in real life. He's that caliber with Allen Iverson. But at the end of last season, Allen Iverson retired. And when Allen Iverson retired, <sighs> Stephen Curry took it as a time to be like, you know what? I'm going to go sign somewhere else. So Stephen Curry is no longer a part of the 76ers. They have Serge Ibaka, Paul Millsap, Lamar Odom. Again, this is a fictional world where we're trying to see what the NBA will be like. So you may see some people that you're not used to being good high overalls. Like Serge is a 92 because in the alternate reality, Serge turned into an NBA all-star type of player. So keep that in mind. But we also got players like Lamar Odom and things like that. Next team, the Milwaukee Bucks have been pretty bad for a few years now. So they don't have much besides DeAndre Jordan, as far as you know. You're going to see a lot of auto-generated players. So Bo Ford and Arthur Roberts, all auto-generated. Then the Bulls just signed Chris Paul this season to pair alongside Tyson Chandler. If I'm not mistaken in real life, did they play together in like... When they were part of the Hornets, did they cross paths? Regardless, they are Chicago. The Chicago team has won two championships in three videos that we've done. Yeah, two championships. They got AK-47, who is 32 years old as well. Then we got the Cavs, who end up actually drafted Kyrie Irving like in real life. They got J.R. Smith, Hassan Whiteside. Then we get to the Boston Celtics, who have Derrick Rose and a very, very old Paul Pierce, who is 37 years old at this point of the video. But he's still a 93 overall, so he's still hooping. Um, still not better than Wade, but you know what I mean. Then we have the Clippers, who are one of the best up-and-coming teams in the league. 24-year-old James Harden, 23-year-old Paul George. They got Josh Smith, Gallinari at 25 years old, and they just, who did they just draft? Uh, Trey Burke. So if you like Trey Burke, he's there. But this is an up-and-coming team here. The Grizzlies have Kevin Durant. Pal Gasol, Zach Randolph, the Hawks just drafted Anthony Davis, I'm pretty sure last year or two years ago, but he's a part of the Atlanta Hawks. They also have Rondo, they have Jimmy Butler, Sean Livingston, remember Sean Livingston was one of the best high school basketball players we've ever seen, and he was supposed to come in and be like Magic 2.0 before all the injuries. They also drafted Bradley Beal, they drafted Anthony Davis and Bradley Beal in the same year, so this team is also on the upcoming team. Then we got the Heat, which really don't got much. The Hornets, the first Hornets teams don't really got much. The second Hornets team has Joe Johnson, uh, Luau Dang, Deshaun Stevenson is down here at 32. LeBron is a part of the Utah Jazz. And this is where things get crazy because Stephen Curry just signed there this offseason. So, Stephen Curry went from a 30 and 10 guy on the Philadelphia 76ers, led his team to the Eastern Conference Finals, to signing with the Utah Jazz. Oh, he was MVP last season. So the MVP signed with the Utah Jazz. They also have a young Kawhi Leonard. So are we talking super team? Yep, this is a team you need to be looking at. Then the Kings have Ginobili, who's 36, so he's probably going to be retiring pretty soon. The Knicks have Carmelo Anthony uh, Russell Westbrook and Yao Ming, DeMarcus Cousins. And now this is a team that in last video I took over because they were seven years in a row in the lottery. And I was like, that's too much. Let's go help this team out. And that's, that's actually what we're going to be doing in today's video. I'm going to look at the last year standings, take over the worst team and try to get them a championship. But we get to the Lakers who have a 36-year-old Kobe Bean by, basically by himself. Tim Duncan is still in the league. And Tim Duncan is the greatest player of all time in here. A 10-time defensive player of the year. 10 years in a row, literally. Nobody can take that award from him. And he's 37, so I wonder if he's still going to win it. But something deep down tells me he's still going to win it. Then he has T-Mac on his team, David West and John Wall. The Mavericks, they just lost um, Dirk. 
And I know in real life they just lost Dirk too. But like in the video game, he signed somewhere else. They have Kevin Love, Jamal Crawford. They did have Blake Griffin. And I think they traded Blake Griffin away or he signed somewhere else. And this is where Dirk ended up going. He went to New Jersey and then he didn't make the playoffs after that. So he was just, he was tweaking. Mike Miller's on the Nuggets. That team is pretty bad. The Pacers have Dwight Howard, Sean Marion. The Pistons have Ron Artez, Yee Jillian, who's turned into a good NBA player. The Raptors have a very good Al Jefferson and very old Kevin Garnett and a very old Vince Carter. The Rockets have Ray Allen, Kemba Walker, Trevor Reza. The Spurs have Tony Parker, Rashad Lewis, Corey Maggette. Chris Wilcox is good, I guess. Um, the Suns have Amari Stoudemire, Andre Drummond. Supersonics have Dwayne Wade and Kyle Lowry. And I think they had DeMar DeRozan as well. Yep, he's down there too. The Timberwolves have Rudy Gay and Ricky Rubio and Kevin Martin. The Blazers have Elton Brand, Joe Kim Noah. The Warriors have Marcus Gasol, Carlos Boozer, and Jason Richardson. And the Wizards have Mike Conley and Blake Griffin. Again, I mentioned earlier how he was a part of another team, but got traded or signed there. And they have Gordon Hayward, Clay Thompson. This team is on the upcoming too. But that's it. Now, right now, I'm maybe sick or I might have allergies. So I'm going to try to not sneeze in y'all ear. So if you see random jump cuts, that's either me sneezing or sniffling. But let's take a look at the last year standings. And see who the worst team in the league was last year. So the Atlanta Hawks won 15 games. And the Timberwolves won 15 games. Okay, so I get to pick between the two. This team is already good. If you ask me. Like, I don't know if they're going to make the playoffs this year. But they already got all the pieces you need to make the playoffs. Bradley Beal, Jimmy Butler, Anthony Davis. Like, that team will be in the playoffs soon. So let's see. I think I'm going to take over the Timberwolves, man. They don't really have that much. So rebuilding this team is going to be fun. Ricky Rubio, Kevin Martin, they did have like the third pick last season and they ended up signing or drafting Michael K. Gilchrist. So that's an L. So let me take over this team and try to make some trades. All right. So let's see what we have first. So Ricky Rubio is a 23 year old point guard. Um, he put up some pretty good numbers last year. So I think he's safe. You know, this is the Ricky Rubio that they wish they had when they drafted him in real life. But, um, you know, he does his thing. Then, back up, we got Marcus Horsley. That looks fine to me. We just don't really have a star, and I think that's what we need. Kevin Martin is 30 years old now, and Brandon Roy is 35, so we need a new shooting guard. We got Rudy Gay and this guy, John Hoffman. Uh, Hoffman is 91 overall. He plays some defense, and he's 6'10", so I wonder if I put him at power forward, how good he would be. At power forward, we really don't have much. We have a super old Sharif Abdul-Rahim. And then at center, we have a young Valanchunas who's in his second year. So we got a lot to do. Now, I know I said I was okay with having Ricky Rubio, but this trade is too good to pass up on. We get a, a young 23-year-old John Wall, and we get an older David West, but he's still a 93. So I'm going to do this trade, and hopefully that can help us win a bunch this season. So we're going to trade for Iggy and Greg Oden. This is, of course, no injury Greg Oden. And he's 25 years old. His stats don't actually... Oh, my God. His stats are terrible. How is my starting center going to shoot 26% from the field? Actually, no, we're not trading for Greg Oden. How? That is crazy that he shoots that poor from the field. So, nope, I thought there's a trade we're going to do, but <laughs> never. So, our team wasn't very good, but Kevin Durant won MVP. These are kind of the smallest numbers we've seen in someone MVP, win MVP. Usually, yeah, usually it's people that's putting up 25, 26, 27, but 22 does it. Um... Somebody that we don't know wins six man. Tim Duncan wins defensive player of the year for the 11th time. Kevin Love, most improved player. And then Malik Booker wins coach of the year. Now, let's see how everything... Oh, we even made the playoffs. We won 40 games and we made the playoffs. We were sub 500. And we're going against LeBron. We were sub 500 team that made the playoffs. Let's take a look at the league standings. Oh, the league leaders throughout the season, not the playoffs. So, Kobe at 26 or 36 is still leading the league in scoring. Kobe thinks. Uh, anything surprising here? It's never really thing surprising. The surprising stuff is who made the playoffs and who didn't. So, the number one team in the league was the Memphis Grizzlies. And that's probably part of the reason why Kevin Durant won MVP. It's like, I got the best record in the entire league. Then, at the 2C, we got the Utah Jazz. Of course, we saw their super team. We're going against them in the first round and see how... Um, how that works. Oh, also the Grizzlies ended the season just on a 17-game win streak. You know, something light. 
So I'm going to guess they're the favorite to win the championship. Then the Trailblazers didn't make it. But what teams didn't make it? The Clippers team didn't make it. The one with James Harden, Paul George, this team didn't make it. And did Greg Monroe shoot over 20% this season? No. How is it even possible for my center to shoot 27% from the field? I don't understand. And when I say my center, I don't technically mean my center because we didn't actually make the trade. But, like, how can that even be possible? Somebody explain it to me in the comment section below. That's why they didn't make the playoffs, by the way. My center can't make a layup. We're not going to win. The Lakers didn't make it. Uh, the worst team in the league was the Houston Rockets. They have Kemba Walker, Barbosa, Trevor Ariza. Yeah, that team's not very good. Out East, Kyrie Irving and company. Oh, yeah, Kyrie has Giannis on his team. Did I mention that? Yeah, they just drafted Giannis. So this is rookie Giannis. Uh, so that team's going to be good in a few years. Just, just not right now. And that's pretty much it. The 76ers still make the playoffs with no AI or no Stephen Curry. So shout out to them. Larry Hughes, super old at 36, being the starting point guard. Andre Roberson is in the league at this first season. So that means Serge only averaged 12. So where's all their points coming from? I guess it's scoring by committee. This guy off the bench had 19. So that's something. We are technically in the year 2030. That is crazy to even think about. But all right, we're going against LeBron in the first round. How's it going to go? Game one, we lose. Game two, we lose. That's actually simulate the whole round. I, I got a feeling how this is going to go. Uh, again, this is not a one-year rebuild. We can come back next season. We got swept. Literally not surprised. Kawhi, LeBron, and Stephen Curry, that team should be the favorite to win it all. But you never know how it's going to go. Simulate the entire playoffs. The Bulls are the one seed once again. But now they have Chris Paul, so they're a little bit better than the two times they did win a championship. Um, will we get the matchup that we're waiting for? KD versus LeBron in the Western Conference Finals? No, LeBron and Stephen Curry lose to the Portland Trailblazers, who have Joe Kim Noah, Elton Brand, and a bunch of people we don't know. Wow. Okay. All right. So Bulls are going against the Charlotte Hornets. Portland going against the Golden State Warriors. The Hornets and the Warriors. Who's on that Warriors team? Jason Richardson is still on the Warriors team. He's 34. But also a bunch of people we don't know. So the Finals MVP may be an auto-generated player. But that's just how it's going to work sometimes. And the Warriors win a championship with Sebastian... Winning um, MVP while averaging 10 points per game. Uh, so that's how things went this season. All right, who's retiring? Steve Francis is retiring. I'm pretty sure Steve Francis won an MVP, right? No, no, he's a five time all star. I'm thinking about Baron Davis. I'm sorry, I'm thinking about Baron Davis. Cal Corver retires already. Okay. Um, Big Z retires. Regardless, a lot of people retire. We're going to go straight to the draft lottery. See who's going to end up with the first pick. This is, of course, the Wiggins draft. And the Houston Rockets end up with the first pick. We almost got it that the Cavs drafted him, but the Cavs are going to fall all the way to four. Now, we're going to go to the NBA draft. We're usually in these videos. We tip Oh, Joel Embiid is in this draft class, too. Yeah. We typically watch the first five or so picks. But... With Joel Embiid being in this draft, I kind of want to trade up for him. We have the 16th pick. Let's figure out who has... Let's see. Where is he projected to go? Let's go to Mock Draft. He's pro Oh, Jokic is in this draft too. So, Joel Embiid is projected to go 26th. Oh, I don't even have to trade up. How is Joel Embiid projected to go 26th, 2K? I mean, I'm not complaining because that means we can snag him with our 16th pick. All right, we don't have to trade up. But I should make some trades. Hold on. Let me see what we got going on here. So, yeah, Joel Embiid is still on the board, which is crazy. Uh, so, we're going to draft Joel Embiid to come to Minnesota. That's a good pick, man. That's a very, very good pick. I don't care about the rest of this draft. Let's see who got drafted. Alfred Payton was the first pick in the entire draft. Ooh. Ooh, uh, the Rockets, um, not, a, not a W for them. Uh, Jokic is number two. He's going to the Mavs. Wiggs goes to the Hawks. Uh, who else we got in here? We got Gary Harris, Marcus Smart, both getting drafted. Top 10, Rodney Hood, Julius Randle goes 12 to the Clips. That's a very good pick at 12. Aaron Gordon goes to the Heat at 13. Uh, but we got Joel Embiid as the 16th overall pick. That is crazy. 
They sleep. They really sleep on Joel. So we're going to have to make sure they wake up. So now that we have Joel and B for our future, we don't really need Valanchunas, but I'm going to keep him on the squad for now. Uh, we weren't able to make the big splash you were anticipating. For one reason, there wasn't a lot of great uh, free agents out there. Uh, but here's player progression. Kevin Martin gets worse, which makes sense. Valanchunas goes up by one. Oh, Michael Kidd Gilchrist only go up by one. We got to trade Michael Kidd Gilchrist, man. He's just not going to progress into the player that the world thought he could have been. So let's try to make this season a year that we're actually competing. Maybe we don't win it all, but we just want to be competitive. I got to load in the next, next draft class. I think that's the 2015 draft. I'm trying to pick up Klay Thompson. Um, and this, this team is actually selling. So if I throw him a bunch of second round picks, hopefully that's enough to pick up Clay. Come on, one more second. I'm literally willing to give you all, all the seconds. That's not enough. Okay. I was hoping I didn't have to do this, but I will do it, uh, to pick up Clay Thompson. I'll give you Markeith Morse. I know, I know that's a lot. I'm giving you a lot. So you better say yes. Along with those second rounders, that second round pick is worth one star. Come on. You, you want that? Thank you. Okay, so Klay Thompson is now on the team to pair with John Wall. So it's Klay Thompson, John Wall, this guy Charlie Perry, David West, Valanchunas. Um, Joel Embiid is still too young for us to actually like put him into the rotation and be good, which is an L. I wish he could just come in and be the Joel Embiid we see today, but that's not realistic. You know, you got to develop into the player. Okay, part of me thinks this is going to be what I need to do is that's throw in Michael Kidd Gilchrist. He's got three-star value and a first and a second. And another second. Come on. And uh, first. I guess we are not getting Derrick Rose. Man, I want, I'm going to orchestrate this trade. If it's the last thing I do. Okay. We throw in Iman Shumpert. They accept the trade. Okay. So, uh, Derrick Rose now on the team. Derrick Rose, Clay Thompson. Valentunas, David West. And then, of course, Charlie Perry. Uh, our bench is trash right now, but I'm okay with that because free agency's here, baby. What? Who's a free agent shooting guard that we can sign? Another Perry. Bring this Perry in. Okay, perfect. All right, so Chris Paul won MVP as a part of the Bulls. Ricky Rubio wins six man of the year on our team. Tim Duncan at 38 is still winning Defensive Player of the Year awards. Oh, my God. Kawhi Leonard wins most approved. Coach of the year went to the Bulls coach. Uh, we won 49 games with Derrick Rose, who was second-team All-NBA. His numbers did go down a little bit. But that's because he's got a little bit more help here than he did last year. David West was third-team All-NBA. So we have two All-NBA players on our roster. So let's go out and win with the fourth seed, um, which is cool. You know, that's, that's fine. That's good enough. And, again, this is a couple-year video. So if we don't win it this year, the next year we can still come back. That Clippers team is even worse this year than it was last year, which is crazy because they – well, y'all know what that team looks like. They got even worse somehow. Uh, wow, the Suns won 10 games. Drew Holiday. Drummond. That makes sense. Let's see if we can get out of the first round. The four or five matchup is always an interesting one. So we're up 2-0. Up 3-0. Oh, okay. Maybe not that interesting. Maybe not that interesting. As we go against the Golden State Warriors next, right? We will be going against the Warriors. And let's see how it goes. This is a team that went to the finals last year. And did they win? I think they won last year. I'm pretty sure. So, uh, yep. They sweep us. Yep. That's perfect. That's perfect. Rebuilding in these videos are a little bit more tough because teams don't want to trade their players because, as y'all saw, every team's overall is pretty stacked. So, every team thinks they're competing. So, because of that, it's hard to actually make trades. <sighs> but next year, hopefully, it's a year. Uh, the Bulls are going against Stephen Curry and LeBron James and Kawhi Leonard, and they're up 3-0, and they won. The Bulls win their third championship in four videos. That is crazy. LeBron loses another finals appearance, but look at that game. Like, the dude put up 49-8 and, and uh, 12 and still didn't win. Sooner than later, I'm going to have to try to trade for Kawhi Leonard, man. Y'all not using him right over there. The man win his most improved player and stuff. Uh, nah, we need him on our team. But all right. The lottery, the Suns end up with the first pick, which is good for them because they had 10 total wins. I don't even know who's coming in this year. Let's take a look. Carl Towns, Chris Stops, D'Angelo, D-Book, Miles Turner, Mario Hizonia. Okay. Ron Day, Hollis. This, this draft class is a good one, man. I'm excited. So the Suns are probably going to end up with Carl Anthony Towns this time around. Interesting. Interesting. We're going to go to the draft. 
we're gonna watch the first couple picks unfold we do have a pick oh no we traded our pick in the their gross tree so we don't personally have a pick but the suns with the first overall pick take carl anthony towns so there that is the spurs who look nothing like the spurs we know no uh tim duncan no manu no tp they pick up devin booker Greg Popovich coaching Devin Booker. That's interesting. Number three pick. It's probably going to be Chris Stops. Is he going to be number three instead of number four? And it will be D'Angelo Russell. Interesting. Okay, so number four, Kyrie Irving. Is, is he going to have Chris Stops for Zingas to pass the ball to with Giannis? Because y'all know they got Giannis too, right? No, they went auto-generated. Boo. All right, send me the rest of this draft. I think I did it, y'all. They didn't match it. So I threw I threw Kawhi a crazy contract, and they did not match. So I said I was going to trade for him, but we literally just signed him, y'all. Oh, man, that's super exciting. That is super, super exciting. Um, we lost David West, which is fine. He went to the Bulls. He's chasing his ring. I don't blame him. But down here, you can see we signed a Kawhi. We brought back Klay Thompson. This is a team that's a lot better now. D. Rose, Klay Thompson, Kawhi, LaMarcus Aldridge we also signed, who's 30 years old now, and then Joe Kim Noah. And we got Joel Embiid in the, in the process. It's processing. So I love it. I love it. We need a backup shooting guard, and we like here, man. If this ain't a championship team, I don't know what is. Let's bring in the perfect backup shooting guard. Okay, so we are here with D. Rose, Klay Thompson, Kawhi Leonard, LaMarcus, and Joe Kim. Off the bench, we see have Ricky Rubio. Charlie Perry is now coming off our bench, along with some guys like Jonas Valanciunas. We also brought in Drew Holiday, but he's not going to get no minutes. Um, this is 100% a championship quality team. Okay, so Chris Paul wins another MVP. Six man of the year the Bulls get. Tim Duncan wins defensive player of the year for the 12th year in the row. At 39, he's still the best defending player. Coach of the year, went to the Bulls coach one more time. All right. So where's our team at, baby? Where's Derrick Rose? Where the All-NBA teams at? Where they at? Uh, no D. Rose. Derrick Rose, third team All-NBA. He averaged 20 points per game again for us. So we here. We ready. We are the one seed out west. Uh, we finished with not the best record in the league. We got to play against Chris Paul and them if we make it to the finals. Again, they took our boy David West from us. So we need to beat him, beat that team. Um, but what teams didn't make the playoffs? You know we always got to do this. The Cavs still don't make it. Uh, Giannis is slowly becoming the superstar that we know today. And now West, the Suns won nine games. They finished the season 23 in a row losses. Like Smush Parker is their starting point guard. So I understand. But they do have Drummond and Carl Anthony Towns. Carl Anthony Towns averaged 18 and 10. But it just wasn't enough to win 10 games. That's that's a big yikes. But all right, let's see how the playoffs go. We're going against the Spurs in the first round. Simulate that entire round. Oh, we're down. It's not a good sign if we lose game one of the playoffs. Game, oh my. If we get eliminated, this is GG. Uh, we're down. We were just down 3-1. And we fight back. Oh my God. What a roller coaster ride. Team, y'all can't be doing that to my heart. My heart cannot take that. My heart cannot take that. Give me those Valanciunas minutes, man. We need our stars to play as many minutes as possible. After that series, it scared us to death. I thought we would be able to get out of the West without a problem, but that team took us to seven in the first round. So we need to get our stuff together. As we go against the Memphis Grizzlies, they have Kevin Durant, of course, and Pal Gasol. They take a 2-0 lead, a 2-1 lead on us, a 3-1 lead on us. So this team is going to continue to go down 3-1 just to beat the rest of the games. They like, they like giving fans heart attacks. Joe Kim Noah, uh, 1.21 rebounds. I respect that type of game. LeBron, Steph Curry, and we took Kawhi Leonard away from them. So let's see how this goes. Game one, we win. Actually, let's do it like we've done it. It's simulate the entire round, game by game. Yep. You know, typical. Oh, we didn't go down 3-1, though. What does that mean? What does that mean? We're in the finals. <sighs> the Bulls, game one. Is a dub. All right. We're not worried about it. Game two. They can't win it again. Game three. Well, they can't win it again. Oh, boy. Don't do this. 
There it is. We went seven games in every series in the Western Conference and then went in five in the championship. So I did it. I took that team to a championship. And I guess our next goal for the next video is to take that Suns team because that Suns team won nine total games. So let's take that Suns team. Y'all see how I'm just switching around? I got to sneeze. <laughs> Tim Duncan retired. That's it. At the age of 40. No more defense play of the year awards. This is such a legendary... Wait, whoa, whoa. Player retirement, Hall of Fame inductees. The dude was a 13, it seemed like, time defensive player of the year. So I am super curious to see who's going to win it now that he's gone. Super curious. But all right. How we're going to end this video off is to see who gets drafted where. We end up with the fourth pick. We won nine games. And ended up with the fourth pick, man. That's trash. That's very, very trash. So let's go to the NBA draft. Our team literally needs no more big man. We're Carthony Towns Towns, Drummond. We're final centers. Can we please get a guard that's not 35 and that's not Smush Parker? And then after this draft, I'm going to end the video and uh, we'll be back soon. So Brandon Ingram or Jalen Brown are basically our only options here. Because uh, we don't really want Chris Dunn. So do we want the wing player in Brandon Ingram? He has an A-plus three-pointer. Okay. Or Jalen Brown. I'm going to go Brandon Ingram with the fifth pick in the draft. And then let's go to our second round pick, which is the basically the 30, 31st overall pick. Jacopoto, uh, Antizizic, Scalabusia, the Maker is in here. Uh, pa Pascal Siakam. Give me Pascal, man. And we're going to develop him to be the player we see today. That's a steal. That's a steal to get Pascal Siakam in the second round. Wow. Demonte Sabonis, too. Could have been another steal. We went with Spicy P, though. Karis LeVert, another steal of a player. Uh, Malcolm Brogdon, DeJounte Murray. The second round has some hoopers. Oh, no. I'm in the first round. Sorry. Let's go back to the second round. The second round actually had Malik Beasley. That's a hooper. Zubak is a hooper. But... The first pick in the draft went to Jamal Murray. Ben Simmons went to the Pistons. So they working with Ben Simmons. Um, I, I like our draft. And that's where we're going to end it off. We're going to sign both of our players. Thank you all so much for watching this video. We are currently in the year 2016. So next time you see me, we'll go 2017 to 2019. And then probably that's the end of the series. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you got to this point, comment uh, Slenderman. Just because I know you saw us draft Brandon Ingram, all right? Thank y'all. Peace.